My name is Aaron, and I grew up in the world of metal. In fact, it's the only thing I ever really cared about in terms of music. But you know what, recently, I've wanted something a little bit different. Well, 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 welcome back. I hope that you're all excited because we are doing Watercolor next, which is probably her most requested song for solo music. So I'm excited to see why. Let's hop right into it. <laughs> Red presents... Whoa, okay. I will drown me. Say, I am to go pick out the young young What about me? Keep on some sunny, but you'll be able to my man. You need to go in I'm liking the sass. Interesting. Okay. That, I think, it was probably the shortest sound out of all the ones that we've heard thus far since this recording session. Uh, interesting. I, I don't know I don't know who Card is, but that looks kind of interesting as well. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Brain. Um, you know, I think the thing that's actually kind of interesting is, like, I was kind of expecting more of what we heard in Goodbye. Um, but I will say one thing that I think that this still has a lot of is just her putting kind of her authenticity into it i really just like the fact that like the stuff that she was singing about was just kind of like i'm just gonna do me and i'm sorry if that upsets you but i actually don't care and you know she still talks about things that like are important to her and you know talks about things it's, it's just really really nice I 
I just really think that's interesting. I think this is very authentic feeling to me. And the start of the song's a little more on the jazzy side, kind of on the more poppy side, and it's kind of like, you know. But I think there's actually kind of a nice deeper layer here that I think would be very easy to miss if you're kind of not paying attention. I really, really like how they did that. Very, very pretty. And actually, I just really, like I said, I appreciate how she wrote this. This is just really kind of a very interesting song, in all honesty. So, anyway. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I was expecting something a little bit different from her, but I really, really liked what she put out. I, I think that this is actually really cool. But, in any case, let me know what y'all think about the song. I am still kind of trying to process the song in some senses, because there was some interesting decisions that were made that I was not expecting. And this is kind of what I always keep saying. Like, you'd think that by now, that after everything we've listened to, I mean, we've I've gone through so many groups at this point, and I'm still not, like, I still feel like I just barely scratched the surface. I feel like that, like, every single time we do, like, a one-week club, everything is just so different. And it's just so, so cool, because I'm just like, how did they come up with this idea? And that's kind of how I feel here. It's just like, wow, after we did Goodbye, then we have this on, and it's just like, how do you write something so vastly different than what you had written previously? And I, I admit, in my own like musical writing, sometimes I feel like I get stagnant. I have like three modes. It's like crazy shred, and then it's like, crazy power and then it's like crazy folk <laughs> it'll, set, it'll be like going from like crazy metal to like dragon force to like slipknot to you know whatever and then all of a sudden it's like time for the Mumford and sons part and i don't know that's really weird <laughs> so i just i think it's so cool that they're all just so versatile but anyway let me know what y'all think about this song let's talk about this in the comments shall we we shall. Thank you again for watching this as well. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Bye. Whoa. Crazy.